This video app review is brought to you by the iPhone app review dot com. Hey everyone, Sarah Hanlon here with the iPhone app review dot com, and today we're taking a look at Boomcat, which is a really fun game to play for iPhone. It's available to download from the App Store for only ninety nine cents. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to play it. Really, the closest thing I can associate Boomcat to would be Angry Birds without obstacles and pigs. And what I mean by that is basically you launch Boomcat from a cannon, and the goal is to hit bombs that are suspended in the air in order to keep you flying for as long as possible. So this is the main menu of Boomcat, and it's where you can basically you know, adjust volume controls see the credits, follow the developers on Twitter and Facebook, and naturally play the game. So we'll go ahead and tap play. Come on. There we go. So this is essentially Boomcat. You can see up here you have your height and distance. You also have your cute little cannon. And basically what you have to do is you have to drag to adjust him and then when you're ready to launch you swipe upward and you can see he's hit bombs and essentially that's really I hate to say it but all there is to Boomcat now I do want to mention that there are different tactics you can employ and Boomcat. And one of those is when you hit a bomb, well, premature launch, <laughs> when you hit a bomb, you can swipe your finger upwards to kind of encourage Boomcat to travel higher. Let's see if we can do this. So you, ha you have to be kind of proactive with it and watch not only where Boomcat is going, but what's in front of him. Go ahead and restart it quick. And there are different kinds of bombs. You can see the red ones are kind of rare, but they're almost like jet bombs. You get a quite a bit more rocket power out of them. One of the things that I kind of noticed about Boomcat is that bombs tend to be in the same spot. If you'll notice, every time I've started the game so far, that same little cluster of bombs has been there. And I'm not able to tell if that's just for the beginning or if the bombs are really the same for the entire map. But also, one thing I want to mention is um, see if I can get a bit higher up. As you travel higher with Boomcat, you'll encounter even more obstacles. So, I think they're like floating rocks in the sky and stuff, and if you hit them, naturally it slows you down almost into a vertical dive. So, But really, you're at the mercy of the bombs on the map, essentially, when it comes to how far you'll fly. And you can share your scores on Facebook and Twitter, kind of challenge your friends to beat them. Which is nice. But Boomcat is not Game Center enabled. Kind of wish it was. That would make it a bit easier to keep track of scores, maybe even add some achievements. But as it is, even though it's a really simple game to play, it's actually really fun. Um, it's one of those, you know, try to outdo your score type of games, and it's even a little silly, but personally, I'm enjoying it. I don't see anything really wrong with it that's a huge drawback. It does take a little bit to get used to. There we go. Finally getting a bit of air here. But it is a very fun game, and... I was actually kind of surprised, because I initially thought it would be fairly simple to play. But it's actually really fun.
Again, Boomcat is available to download from the App Store for 99 cents and is designed for iPhone. This has been Sarah Hanlon with the iPhoneAppReview.com taking a look at Boomcat. Till next time.